This is your boy Gary Adam Slink. How you not doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I was told Canada economy is currently really, really bad. In fact, a Nigeria family was uh, interviewed recently and they say they regret coming to Canada. So we are going to look into that. And also, you won't believe what two daughters did to their mother in South Africa. ...of one Tadlamini who was allegedly murdered by her two daughters can't find closure until other suspects are arrested. It's alleged her daughters orchestrated the murder in order to get their hands on insurance money. Police are searching for a number of people who are of interest to the case. Newsroom Africa's Moeli Masilela has the details. Wanta Lamini's body was found dumped here after she went missing in early January. Police say she disappeared after visiting her daughter, Nontlantla Matunwa, who is now in police custody. Matunwa and her sister Penelope, who has also been apprehended, have allegedly confessed to the police that they to claim insurance funds. The two allegedly told police that their mother was repeated two of their friends before being strangled. Family members are utterly shocked. It is heartbreaking to think that the very same woman that gave birth to you, and it's not like here we're speaking of a stepmother, we're speaking of their biological mother. It's when it comes to my side, it's because my mom, she was my everything. I didn't have a father, and she raised us as a single parent. So I don't know, but other times I just feel like crying and crying, and crying nonstop. She says she can never forgive her siblings. Today, I don't have anyone. I can say I'm an orphan because of them. If they wanted money, why didn't they tell me? Because I was going to make a plan to give it to them. For them. That is one of their sisters. Hey, this life is coming to an end, guys. This life is coming to an end. Oh. So, the woman's name, according to the media, Wanta Del Mini. She retired. And two of her daughters needed that retirement as insurance money. Because if she buy, there's an insurance money. They needed that insurance money real fast. And they do not want her to eat her own insurance money while being alive. So that's more what occur remains. So they needed that insurance money. Not only did they even at least, if you want to buy your mother, pity him. I'm not saying no, I'm not saying anyone is good, or God forbid. But if you want to buy your mother, pity her. Pity her, buy him in a good way. Maybe just give her something to drink. Maybe she just quietly buy. This daughter said, la, la, oh. you know what they did, in case you did not hear it correctly? They hired three hefty guys of their friends, hefty guys, to buy their mother. And they told those guys specifically, before you not buy this woman, make you not knock him. You know what I mean by knocking now? Make you not knock him, make you not scatter her. After that, I can finish now. Buy him. And look at that one, that other uh, of her daughter. Seeing that she raised them alone. Oh. May God not let us give birth to people. May they go. We didn't kill. Eh? God no go give us children may they will buy us because we not buy our parents. God will not give us kids that will hand us because we didn't hand our parents. Because can I hear you say amen? <laughs> Somebody will give birth to a child and the person will go to church, do thanksgiving, go to the government, register the child's name, a nursery, 
primary, secondary, university, paid everything. In fact, when that child was a toddler, the child didn't even know nothing. Your mom cried. Make sure you were protected, guided you. Now you now have power. You now have the strength to move and run from one Sokoto to Zafara. Or run from Pectoria to Johannesburg. To, to, to the Zulu land. To anywhere you want. Now you now have power. You forgot there was a time you weren't even able to talk. You weren't even able to lift your hand. You weren't even able to communicate or even think about what was wrong with you. You were just crying, but your mom will find a way to understand your communication or what is wrong with you and get you sorted out. You forget those times. Now you want your mother gone. Not only gone. You did it in the most horrible manner. Ha. Huh. True life story. And there are more horrible ones than this. True life story, guys. It's crazy. I'm so... It's crazy, guys. Like I said before, may God not let us give birth to kids that we hand us. Because most definitely we didn't hand our parents. Because you will train a child, train a child, train a child, give the, that child everything. And the child will see spit that thing back at you and just say, what did you do for me? What did, did, have you ever done for me as a parent? As, as, as a parent? Ah. That child wanted you to do something for them like dangote. Uh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But thank God, yo. Thank God. Thank God, yo. It's a really crazy world, guys. Then check out this news about a Nigeria family. According to this guy, he said, the Canadian economy is getting so bad that even newly landed immigrants are, are regretting coming here. I worked with a Nigeria guy who brought his entire family here for a better life. In this case, they found out that the, greener, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Suddenly, he realized that his wage was only enough to cover his rent. Back home, his income was enough to care of the entire family. He spent his first month here starving so his wife and kids could eat. Now his wife needs to walk out of necessity instead of focusing on raising their kids. Now distracted, both him and his wife are regretting coming here. Worse yet, they can't afford to return. They spent their life savings to live in Canada. Stories like these are all too common, thanks to the Libra's moral bankrupt policies. Our economy is literally a posy scheme, preying on newcomers to, artificial, to artificially inflate real estate and rent price. To artificially inflate real estate and rent price. You know, economy everywhere has their own problem and have their own issues to deal with. I don't know about Canada, but if you check, uh, even in Nigeria, one of the most sorted places to live is in Canada. And even in that Canada, we have very, uh, very uh, low population province that are quite cheap. Well, just that some people want to live in those uh, lucrative areas to run to another province that have many people. Because those low uh, population area is quite boring. You know, you will stay there and not even see anybody for a very long time. Quite really, 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 really boring, guys. Really, really boring. So that's why. Really, really boring. But in any way, you trust Nigerians now. I don't know much about them, but you really trust Nigerians. They will definitely find their way. 
they will most definitely find their way. So, Nigeria slavery over there. Is the is Canada is Canada economy really bad? That some of you want to come back to Nigeria? Please let us know. I have some few Nigeria friends over there, and none of them have, have, ever, have ever complained. Or, but they complain a few times about the loneliness and everything. But so far, so good. All my friends that have traveled abroad to UK, USA, Canada, they are living well. There is no cause for them to ever return. So I don't know if this is the other time we see a Sweden government offering uh, Africa immigrants the sum of 34,000 US dollars to return home. I don't know if it's illegal or legal immigrant. So if it's legal immigrant, that means you, do know, you guys do not even want any African there again. That is against international law. Systematically pushing legal immigrants out of your country. Well, Thank you guys for watching your boy Adam's link. Catch you next time. Peace.